Hey everyone, welcome back to Living with the K's. Episode four, five. Who's counting? That's right, we just keep going. <laughs> but today we're discussing another one of our values, but this time it's called continuous evolution. So for us, this is learning to grow and taking action. Continuous evolution for me is, you know, accepting that we're not always perfect and really taking the time to learn and grow and then apply it. So I think for me, especially right now, we're going through a new stage and that's when it really becomes important to grow and take action because you're not the same person you were five years ago, 10 years ago, when we met seven years ago. And I think as you can see now, we're entering a whole new stage. So figuring out what that looks like having a baby, what does that mean for our marriage? What does that mean as parents? And I think we've been doing a lot of research, a lot of learning ourselves, mm -hmm. and now having those tough conversations and figuring out what do we do next to actually practice what we're learning. I think that was one of the things that attracted me to you really early on. Like on our very first date, you're talking about business school and wanting to start a business someday but like continuously being invested in what you were learning and studying yeah and i don't know if you saw the same in me but <laughs> you yeah definitely kareem i don't know for those of you who don't know him he never stops learning it's just continuous well and it's great you got to yeah it's great because it also motivates me to always want to learn too even if i don't want to i'm gonna learn so and I, I think you did a good job of sort of telling people, you know, that we evolve and we change. And oftentimes I meet people and they're like, I can't commit to a relationship yet because I don't know how to do this or I'm not good at this. Right. And that's something you can learn together. It's not like you need to have it all put together before you make that commitment. And, you know, to your point, like we are going to go through stages in life and we're going to evolve. Like when we got married, we went from boyfriend, girlfriend, to then fiance, to then husband. Yeah. And every time we made different steps within our relationship to get to the next level. And man, relationships are not easy. Yeah. No, I remember those steps too, because they were like growing pains almost. Like we went from Kareem buying everything when we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And then the second we were like, fiance it was like we're splitting things and i was like oh this is like kind of weird because it's a new phase and then the second we got married it was like splitting things for real and then like budgeting together and thinking through long-term goals together where it wasn't the same when we were just like running girlfriend and it's not just like the financial decision yeah and there's and i would say there's no right or wrong answer i think it's more so understanding that it's going to change yeah. and being committed to learning so i think if you're not committed to learning you're not committed to growing you're going to stall your relationship right if one person's learning and they're evolving and the other person isn't they're going to feel like they're pulling the other person's weight yeah and you don't ever want that either so when we talk about continuous evolution and why it's important it's not just about let me learn for the sake of learning, but let me learn with the intention of applying, right? So it doesn't matter if you're the expert in conflict resolution, if you're having conflict all the time and you're not applying anything yeah. that you're learning in those resolutions, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. No, like, like what good are those YouTube videos on how to be a better husband? Yeah, you can't just keep it to yourself. If, so. Yeah, if you're then not going out there and saying, okay, let me actually try this. Let's, yeah. let's have a conversation about this. Yeah. I mean, and that's why it's important to us because we want to create better relationships for people out there. And you have to recognize I'm not a finished product. And the truth is you never get there. Like you'll never be done, right? Life is that journey. And so much of that is understanding that, hey, we're going to get better together. Yeah. And so when, when we talk about like why continuous evolution, it's because we know we want to be better together mm -hmm. than we were when we started. And we want to be committed to growing. And guess what? You know, like I'm in education and I can tell you that children don't do what you tell them to do, mm -hmm. right? They do what you do. Yeah. And so I, I know this, like most parents want the best for their children. You know, they want them to get a great education yeah. 
And if it's not formal, they want them to informally be learning too. Well, guess what? The only way that happens. Exactly. Yeah. They got to see it happening from you. So when we're talking about continuous evolution as being a core value of an empowered couple and an empowered relationship, we're talking about it holistically. And we want you all going out there and learning and then applying it really. And that, that really is what it's about. So Kadesa, do you have any tips or lessons from our continuous evolution? Yeah, I'd say something that is important to me is really setting aside the time to talk through what do you, what did you learn this week? You know, so we have something called family time and we were doing this often where it'd be like, okay, what'd you learn today? And I feel like the more often you're doing this, the more you're like, oh, I can practice this. This is something new. And then you're excited to be like, oh, I learned this just so you can discuss it with your significant other. So I think that that's something that if you wanted to take strides towards getting better at learning and applying, that could be something to incorporate. All right, I wrote mine down. I have three. I think that uh, learning is more fun when you learn together. And, you know, just, hey, let's read something together. Let's watch a video together. Let's do it together because it's powerful to, yes, to go and learn by yourself and try and apply it. But I think it's even more powerful when you're speaking the same language, you had an opportunity to be present, to engage with whatever it was. And so I have that as being like number one on my list. The second one is to make it experiential. Like learning doesn't just have to be like, let's read an article together or you go read a book, I read a book. Like what if we physically went out there and we role played, right? Or we went to go and see a show on a topic, you know? So I think practicing, applying, um, teaching, you know, like experiential teaching, right? Where we now have to practice what we preach because, you know, we're talking all of this about how we have to go out there and people aren't going to say what you tell them to do. They're going to do what you do. And so we're teaching and this makes it a lot more experiential for us. Mm -hmm. And then the third tip I have is learn from your mistakes. I think that is one of the biggest opportunities for learning. Yeah. Oftentimes, like we don't know what we're not good at. Like we don't know where we're struggling. And then we recognize what those opportunities are when we make a mistake. And so embrace the mistakes. I think mistakes are a part of life, but also mind those for lessons. Like, hey, let's talk about that mistake. What did we learn from it? Yeah, I think another thing that comes to mind is like as a partner, don't be afraid to call your partner out and say, you know, this is what you did. Um, How do we move forward? How do we get better at it? Because maybe you didn't like it. So. I mean, we did a whole exercise on <laughs> blind spots, right? Like, remember my therapist a couple of weeks ago oh, yeah. was like, what are your blind spots? And I was like, I don't know if I knew they wouldn't be blind spots, right? right? And so, um, and it also reminds me of uh, something our golf coach or teacher once told us. He's like, why do you think Tiger Woods has all of these golf instructors? And he's like, it's because he, you can't see yourself when you're swinging. Yeah. You know, and in a relationship, sometimes like you can't see how you're acting or interacting. It takes someone else who's observing you to see that. Mm -hmm. And so I just think there's so much power to having your partner, like she was saying, call you out when you're making a mistake um, or not there. So, all right, Kadesia, people are probably sitting there and they're like, all right, how do I apply this? What what do I do now? I just watched this episode on continuous learning and evolution. Yeah. So I'd say something you could do is, you know, Take this into the world. Take If you're single, this is something you could reflect on or if you're in a committed relationship or you have a significant other, you bring this to them. Like, how can we get better together? How can we move forward and, you know, grow and actually apply this? And I would say start with one thing, right? We don't, does it have to be difficult? Does it have to be super yeah. hard? It's just simple question. Hey, are you committed to learning yeah. and growing? Are you, they might not understand continuous evolution. So don't go out there and hit them with it. Are committed to learning and growing? Yeah, or you guys might want to watch this episode together and then reflect on this question and kind of say, are we committed? You know, is this something that you're committed to? This is something that's important to me because I know that I don't know how to be the most amazing partner, the most amazing wife or husband, the most amazing father or mother, you know, and as we evolve and change and grow, all of those things are gonna continue to happen. So we'll leave you all with that in this episode. Uh, Just talked about our second value and why it's so important to us as we're out there trying to create more committed and powered couples. 
Um, and we hope that you'll continue to join us for our future episodes. Thank you all. Thank you.